Good morning, we are the Foxes, and we have conducted a research analysis of students, staff, and faculty members' social media preferences here at St. Edwards University, provided for the concierges and the co-founders of the Fox Society. My name is Alexis Calvo, and I will go over the introduction, purpose, and at the very end, I will also do the conclusion. Uh, Stephanie McLeod will do primary research, Abilene Hernandez will do secondary research, and Christina Lopez will do findings and recommendations. As I mentioned earlier, I am Alexis, and I will now go over the introduction portion of this presentation. Um, the company that we have chosen to analyze is called the Fox Society. It's a local business here in Austin. The Fox Society is a monthly subscription service that provides custom plans itineraries for Austin couples. Um, they've been featured in multiple places like The Wedding Channel, Austin Business Journal, Austin Monthly, and Community Impact. You can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram, and Eileen and Audrey are the concierges as well as the co-founders. Uh, their mission is planning fun and exciting dates to create time for adventure and connection for couples that do not just want the whole stress of the entire planning process. They'd rather have someone else do that for them. The problem that we have investigated is that their lack of social media usage is keeping the market from being aware of their business, which puts a halt to their unlimited potential. The interesting part about this problem is how easily it can be fixed uh, to fix that, as well as a variety of approaches in order to take to fix it. Moving on, I will now focus on, now explain the purpose and the goals of this presentation. Out of all the, the, the social media utilities that they've had, we are gonna focus on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, the purpose of this report is to determine how businesses, specifically the Fox Society, can effecti effectively use social media to bring more attention and knowledge to their brand. Through pri primary and secondary research, this report will explain which social network platforms are most commonly used and what they are most commonly used for. Our primary goals are to show how much of an impact social media can have on a business explain how to approach each individual social media platform, and to explain the value of having a position dedicated to social media marketing. Through primary and secondary research, support, the, this report will support the goals as well as give a solution to the entire problem. Um, the primary research and results were conducted based on surveys that we, we uh, distributed around campus, which Stephanie went all go over. So like Alexa said, my name is Stephanie, and I'll be talking with you about our primary research data collection as well as our analysis. So to start, um, our, we use surveys to gather our data, um, and to start with that, we um, had to first create the surveys. So we did that by meeting as a team. We talked about some questions that we thought would be the most beneficial um, in order to analyze and come up with the best, me best recommendations that we could for our company. Um, so once we, once we did that, we had a rough draft. We presented that to our client as well as our professor. They provided us with some useful feedback, which they returned to us. We made the appropriate edits to the survey, and then we had our final survey. So after we had our finalized survey, it was time to distribute them. And we chose to pass them out to the students at St. Edwards University as well as the faculty and staff. And we did that firstly for convenience of dis distribution as well as we thought they accurately represented the target audience of the Fox Society. So, um, we passed them out, or we gained access to the students through the use of passing them out to our classes, as well as the professors in those classes. Um, and we also passed them out in common areas around St. Ed's, such as Ragsdale, um, Joe's Coffee Shop, the library, and the university offices as well. I'll now move on to our data analysis. So once we distributed all of our surveys, we passed out 214 and received all 214 back. <clears throat> and with that, we had a 93% confidence level that our results would um, appropriately represent the population of St. Ed's. So in our surveys, the first question was actually an age demographic survey. Um, and with that, that helped us when we began our, the analysis process. We actually split them up into four different groups based on their response to that question. And those were split up. The four choices were less than 20 years old, 20 to 24 years old, um, 24 to 29, and then older than 29. Um, and as you can see from this graph, 
a huge portion of our surveys that were returned fell into the age group of 20 to 24. And so with that, I will now pass it off to Abilene, who will talk about our secondary research. mentioned I'll be talking about the conclusions and recommendations so we'll start off with the conclusions from our primary research um, as Stephanie explained before 214 surveys were handed out um, all were valid so that gave us an achieved confidence level of 93 percent and so as you can see in this um, chart the results showed that Facebook and Instagram were significantly more important or more popular than other social media platforms um, it also showed that most people uh, use Facebook to keep up with businesses and the news rather um, looking at pictures and posting pictures very much anymore. Um, and then here we have that Instagram is mostly used um, to view pictures and post pictures. Um, and most people expect from Facebook, the more business side of it and the more promotional side of it, um, and businesses are now using it to their advantage. To further discuss the enjoyment that consumers get out of seeing pictures on Instagram, the results from the question asking about what kind of pictures or what kind of things people like to see on Instagram didn't really give us any significant results, which ended up being good for our research just because it shows how diverse and how much room there is for creativity when posting things on Instagram and once you figure out a certain style it's very easy to make sure that the flow stays that way. Um, so now I'll move into the secondary research findings. Um, so social media is becoming a primary tool for business marketing and Facebook is the most used platform as well as the most user friendly. Instagram is more of a personal pictorial account um, and it can be extremely useful to a company like the Fox Society as their central theme of the as the central theme of the company is socialization and intimacy between people. Um, and then social media marketing is becoming a huge part of business. And as a result of this, we found that positions and internships 
in social media marketing are, being, are becoming more and more common. And finally, um, I would like to explain some of the recommendations that we came up with. The most valuable recommendation that we have to give to the Fox Society is to ensure that there's a position or an internship position specifically designed for social media marketing. It's obvious through our research that a lot of time, creativity, organization um, go into this type of marketing. Secondly, um, as far as interns, students are always looking for internships. We all know as students at St. Edwards that many, many of our majors require that we have an internship, so it's always good to know that something as easy as social media can kind of launch ourselves into the business world before we're quite ready for it. Um, doing either of these things will ensure the proper time and care is being spent on social media marketing. Um, some other recommendations that we had were that um, we need to increase Facebook usage as well as Instagram usage. Um, I decided not to focus on those two as much just because in having a job specifically for those things, it'll, it will inevitably just happen. Um, but some examples for increasing Facebook usages were to tailor the posts to be more promotional, um, just because of the secondary research that we found in which, and our primary research really, in which we found that more people look for promotional things such as um, giveaways, contests, which will bring more people to like the page and that's ultimately the goal. Um, and then to increase Instagram usage, the main two main points are to keep the consumers involved and to keep track of how much your business is being posted about. That's where the importance of hashtags come in. Um, in one article that we found, it really stressed that there should be one specific hashtag that way no one gets confused and that there's always that one unique hashtag in which you can really keep track of how many people are paying attention or posting about um, your webs or your business, um, which then reflects on c keeping the consumers involved because that gives you a, a way of acknowledging the fact that they're acknowledging your business and makes them feel like they're a main priority. So now I will give the floor to Alexis and to give our closing statements. All right, now I'm just gonna give a whole conclusion about this entire presentation, which will go over the main points that we have covered and restate the, the main recommendation that we have for the Fox Society. Um, I went over the introduction in which uh, focused on who our, our chosen company was and the problem that was under investigation. I also went over the purpose of the report and the primary goals. Stephanie went over the primary research, which gave an explanation of both collection process and the analysis process. Abilene went over the secondary research, which gave an explanation of how um, themes were divided and researched. Christina went over the findings and recommendations, which gave an explanation of what we discovered in our primary and secondary research. The overall main recommendation that we have for the Fox Society is to ensure that the uh, appropriate time is being spent on social networking by creating a job position or an inter internship position specific to social media marketing. Through all the research, it is evident that, all, that a lot of time, creativity, and organization goes into this type of marketing. Hiring interns can actually be a cheaper and easier way to provide, to provide students with experience while ensuring that each social networking site is being constantly watched and updated when appropriate. Um, before we open up the floor for questions, we would like to, as a Foxes, personally thank Audrey and Eileen who aren't here, but we would like to thank them for this uh, opportunity to analyze our company, and we'd like to thank you guys for listening. So now we will open up for the questions. <laughs>